How's it going? I'm going to review this, uh, this extra light, ultra light stem. So I've had it on the bike now for over a month and I've done really hard, uh, hills day and I've done multiple sprints with it. It's got really small Torx bolts for the, for the handlebars. And, uh, same, same for the, uh, let's see if I can, I also have one of their top caps on there with the girl and the, uh, the hollow bolt in the center, which is pretty cool. But, um, this is 110 millimeter and it's a 12 degree drop and I have it flipped so that it faces down and I really like it so far, uh, on the side of it, it says a max of, uh, it says a max of three newton meters or four newton meters. And, um, I went, I have an inch pound wrench. And so I went just a hair above the four newton meter max. Uh, used a little bit of tax paste on it. And uh, I have a carbon fiber uh, handlebar. It's a Easton EC90. And uh, it's a nice bar. Has a bit of a cutout right here to help. I used to bruise my wrists really bad when sprinting. Uh, I sprint fairly fast uh, for for the people I ride with anyways. Uh, I sprint about anywhere from 36 miles an hour to about 42. And uh, I had sprinted as fast as 49 miles an hour, but the fastest I've sprinted with this stem so far is actually 49 miles an hour. I did it uh, in the first week that I had the stem on the bike and the handlebars didn't slip or anything. So, I, I rate it really well so far. It, it clamped tight on the carbon stem. The, I mean, the uh, carbon uh, tube. I put the factory um, specialized expander back inside of my fork because I wanted to make sure that when I was clamping it, that it, it clamped and didn't crush my... Uh, my steer tube, uh, not that it has that much torque on it, just I wanted to be extra safe because it was my first time using this stem. And but it's it's really a work of art. They they trimmed every. I mean, you can. I don't know if you can see, but right here on the top of the stem, I mean, it's really thin, but the machine work on it actually. My stem turned out really nice. I hope everybody's that they make turns out this nice. And uh, I actually rate it really well. I've seen people say that they slip. Or I don't know what's going on with their installation. But I did go just a smidge above what the recommended torque was. So I'm an I'm a automotive mechanic. And to me, um, the the amount of torque that was on these, these front these front bolts at about 40 inch pounds was just a hair low so I went up to 44 inch pounds which is right around 5 newton meters and they have 4 newton meter max so that was that was what I did on my bike so hope you guys enjoyed this review